News just in, Israel has reportedly bombarded Syria's largest air base in Homs province, killing one soldier and injuring two others. That's according to Syrian state media, citing a military source. This comes a day after an Israeli missile strike killed three Syrian servicemen. Let's go live now to Middle East correspondent Mohammed Ali, who's in Damascus. Uh, Mohammed, what do we know at this stage about this latest missile strike? Yes, the official news that came out from uh, Syria's uh, military was that, yes, it was an Israeli aggression and that the Syrian air defenses were able uh, to confront and intercept two of the Israeli missiles that uh, tried to hit the T-4 military airport, which is uh, uh, several uh, tens of kilometers, actually, uh, east of the uh, city of Homs in central Syria. According to the Syrian uh, uh, military source that stated uh, uh, about the incident more and more details, it said that two of those uh, Israeli missiles were actually intercepted and downed, but there were other uh, Israeli missiles that actually hit uh, uh, the airport itself, killing uh, one Syrian soldier and injuring two others. There was also uh, a, a ammunition, uh, actually, an ammunition depot that was hit, and several other buildings were also damaged around the airport uh, itself. Israel did not yet uh, comment on uh, that uh, issue uh, yet up till this moment. Uh, and it's definitely not the first time that this particular T4 military airport is targeted by Israel uh, since the start of the uh, crisis in Syria in 2011. But this is, however, the third Israeli uh, attack on Syria in less than 24 hours. Just 22 hours before, there were uh, uh, two Israeli attacks, one on Damascus' southern countryside and the other was uh, in the eastern countryside of Al-Qanetra in southern Syria. And at that time, 22 hours ago, that attack led to the killing of three Syrian soldiers and the injury of seven uh, others. Usually the foreign ministry here in Damascus uh, 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 sends letters uh, on such uh, attacks to the uh, United Nations complaining and saying that those attacks are actually against international law, undermining Syria's uh, sovereignty and are aimed at boosting the morale of uh, the uh, remaining terrorist groups in Syria. But yet, uh, up till this moment, the foreign ministry did not uh, send any uh, similar letters yet. That's Middle East correspondent Mohammed Ali bringing us the latest. They're live from Damascus. Thank you.